using the integral representation of harmonic number to solve this elegant sum. Now, uh, how do we solve this? Okay, so notice that this is also in the form of the classical Euler sum, uh, h n by n to the power q. But there, uh, to use the formula, I think q should be greater than two. Yeah, so I think that that comes a problem over there. But uh, yeah, li let's do it U using the integral representation of the harmonic number. So we know that the harmonic number as of n is actually integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x to the power n by 1 minus x dx, isn't it? Using this, uh, we get sum from n equals to 1 to infinity of integral from 0 to 1. 1 minus x to the power n by 1 minus x dx. Yeah. And then we have 1 by n square. Yeah. Now, from this, uh, what do we can do? We can introduce in the solving integrals. That basically helpful most of the time. In F2 interchange, we have sum from n equals to 1 to infinity. Mm. And let's write 1 by 1 minus x over here. And we get 1 by n square minus x to the power n by n square dx. Now uh, we know that this is just stream and zeta of 2 and this is uh, the definition of the Li2 of x. Yeah, Li2 of x is defined as sum from mm, n equals to 1 to infinity x to the power n by n square, isn't it? So that's why uh, we have integral from 0 to 1, 1 by 1 minus x. This is Riemann zeta of 2 minus Li2 of x dx. Okay, so now to simplify this, so we can use the Euler's reflection formula of the logarithm, logarithm function. Basically, we have that of diagonal logarithm function. Li2 of x plus Li2 of 1 minus x. We have this sum as Riemann zeta of 2 minus ln x ln 1 minus x. Yeah, we have this thing. Now using this uh, over here, what do we get? We can take this, uh, okay, so we get something, uh, I'll write it. Uh, 1 by 1 minus x. Uh, Li2 of 1 minus x plus ln x ln 1 minus x, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, we get this expression dx. Now what do we do? Uh, we try to simplify this. Integral from 0 to 1 li2 of 1 minus x by 1 minus x dx uh, plus integral from 0 to 1 ln x ln 1 minus x by x dx okay now over here we can use king's rule yeah and replace x by 1 minus x yeah using king's rule because king's rule says that integral from a to b of f of x dx is equals to integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx, isn't it? Using King's rule, now uh, we have integral from 0 to 1 li x or by x dx, yeah, over here that is integral from, okay, over here we can use integration by parts, yeah. And that gives us ln of x and the uh, integral of ln 1 minus x by x that's just minus li2 of x yeah and uh, both of them are from 0 to 1 minus over here again integral from 0 to 1 derivative of ln x is 1 by x the integral of ln 1 minus x by x is minus li2 of x dx yeah now uh, this we know that the formula integral from 0 to a of lip of x by x dx this is actually lip plus 1 of a 
yeah using this we have ally 3 of 1 and over here uh, ln1 is 0 but ally2 of 1 is just zeta of 2 but since multi multiply by 0 that is 0 and minus minus plus ln of 0 is infinity but ally2 of 0 is just 0 and then since here is 0 times infinity you need to take a uh, limit and if you take limit x tends to 0 of ln x ally2 of x you can basically use the sum definition and then use L'Hopital's rule and from there you get that the limit uh, x tends to 0 of ln x ally2 of x is actually 0 and then plus integral from 0 to 1 uh, ally2 of x by x dx and also please know that ally p of 1 is actually zeta of p yeah using this we have zeta of 3 and this is also ally3 of 1 so that's all zeta by th of 3 so we get 2 times zeta of 3 as the answer Huh, that was a interesting problem. So we firstly use the integral definition of the nth harmonic number, and since the integral and sum took the constant outside, and wrote the sum as the definitions, and used the Euler's reflection formula of Euler logarithms, and did some nice integrals. First one was obvious using King's rule. Second one was we in you we used integration by parts and there uh, we also use limits yeah and then in the next one again we had in like a standard uh, integral problem and both of them were li3 of 1 that is 2 times theta of 3 that's how we solve the problem hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching look forward to seeing in the upcoming videos too